Like the rest of the nation and the world, the U.S. military continues to grapple with the pandemic. A ninth member of our military has died of complications from COVID-19. Mike Gooding breaks down the alarming numbers. A member of the Texas Air National Guard is now the ninth member of the U.S. military to be killed by the coronavirus, as noted yesterday on the Department of Defense's website. Since the pandemic began, more than 86,000 people associated with the DOD have tested positive for the virus. Of them, more than 1,700 have been hospitalized. Over 56,000 have recovered, and overall, including civilians, 111 people have died. The Army has had more than 22,000 cases, the Navy more than 12,000, the Air Force more than 9,000, the Marine Corps more than 7,000, the National Guard almost 7,000, and DOD agencies more than 400. The most well-known coronavirus impact on the military was the USS Theodore Roosevelt, with more than 1,100 sailors testing positive and one dying. Military leaders are concerned about the toll the pandemic is having, not only on the physical health, but on the mental well-being of the troops, as the Air Force's Air Combat Command mental health chief discussed in a recent blog. If you are feeling like you are really having a difficult time, or even if you're not, um, even if you can just recognize that what we're going through is stressful across the board, and that nobody is enjoying the last eight months of, of, of challenges that we faced, um, please reach out for help. Meanwhile, the military-led Operation Warp Speed continues to work to produce and deliver 300 million doses of safe and effective COVID-19 vaccines to Americans, with the stated goal of initial doses being available by January 2021. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.